Hey everyone, this is Trevor Bates with PDS Equipment. Uh, I'm here at the PDS print facility and I'm going to show you guys how to do jig printing today on the flatbed. So we're going to do just one product and then we're also going to do multiple products with multiple jobs. Uh, I'm going to show you all the way from start to finish and hopefully this helps y'all out. So we're over here at Rational Link. I'm going to be printing on these little notepads today and we're going to be centering some logos dead middle. Uh, first step we're going to do is we're going to come into Rastro Link and we're going to go ahead and get our special plates set up that we want to use. So in order to do that, we're going to come over here to the special plate. All I'm going to do is do a wipe on the bottom of this and we're going to do 100%. We're going to go valid pixel and we will composite this automatically. You're going to see that's going to go ahead and tie in your white plate. Next thing we're gonna do is go into jig print and we're gonna create our jig um, inside of there. So jig print is going to be the icon just above the execution button. Um, the first thing you're gonna do in jig print is you're going to give this jig a name up here in the top. So we will call this uh, notepad and then we will have to add it to our system. So I've typed in notepad and then I will hit the green plus button. You must do this if you want to create a jig. Now that that's added to the system, we're going to break down jig print and, and I'm going to show y'all how to set this up for this notepad. So me personally, I always leave the jig size, which is your overall size, the size of the bed. I also leave my position of the jig at zero, zero located here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my material size, which is going to be the size of the notepad here in material size. So I've already calculated that. And it's going to be 3.36 wide. And then it will be 5.24 high. And you can see it's now changed my material size. The next thing I'm going to do is I, I'm only going to do one at this time. So I'm going to scroll down here to counts. And I'm just going to do one. I'll zoom out so y'all can see where I'm at. So now we've just got one. Below that is interval and pitch. I'll address that here in a little while when we go to doing multiple of these notepads. But for now we're just going to do one. The next thing I want to show you all is this first position. So I'm going to actually set my first position on this at zero, zero. And I'll show you why here in a second. And then the next thing is the layout tool, okay? So I'm going to want to center dead middle of this notepad. So I will hit the center button here. Now if I go back to Jig Layout, it's going to show my job laid out dead center on that notepad. And you have the ability to change your size over here with the, the valid, whether you do scan or feed and make it as big as you want to do. Uh, but that looks like a good size right there. So now at this point, I'm going to show you where I'm going to lay this out on the bed. So what I've done is I've took my notepad and I'm going to register it to zero, zero. This is a product we make here at PDS. We call it a PDS Easy Guide. Um, it allows you to screw it down to the bed. Uh, it also has rulers for you. So all these holes are going to line up with the holes in the bed. If you're doing products that are thicker, you can use cover screws or any kind of three mil screw to really lock this down. If you're doing, say, a thinner piece of product, almost like a thin piece of acrylic, you can double side tape this easy guide down. It's whatever products you normally like to run. If you're running thicker products, you can get away with screwing this down and leaving it on. So because I've done my starting point at zero, zero, and I've centered that Auburn logo here in the middle, um, I should be good, ready to just rip and print. Go ahead and send it over now. So the printer has now received the job. I'm now going to hit remote and send it over.
there you have it finished product ready to go centered right where we wanted it so now we're going to go into doing multiple so i've removed the easy guide and applied paper to the bed i'm now going to show you how to do outlines on this paper um, and then lay them out within the outlines this is another feature in jig print you know it, this works for different applications um, and, and this should help you all out a lot so I've now came into jig print the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to this tab right here print the jig outline and then I'm going to select print you can change the colors you got black you can do a lot of different CMYK colors of your outlines I always just normally leave it black and all I need to do is hit print and it will print this outline for me um, since we're going to do multiple jobs let's go ahead and increase our counts so I'm going to go to jig definition and we're going to do five so by increasing the counts here it's going to lay it out on the bed for me One thing I'm also going to do is I'm going to change this first position to 0.25 and 0.25. That's going to get it off of that 0, 00 line. And now all I need to do is go back to this tab and select print. So while it's printing this outline, I also wanted to show y'all how to do uh, separation if you go to doing multiple rows up the bed. So as I increase my counts, it's gonna lay them out off the bed. So I could only do six across here. And as I increase my height, it's gonna go up. So that's what this counts button here is doing. It's laying out more for you. So if you wanted to have a certain separation between these that's done here in interval and pitch right here so what you have to do is you have to add uh, whether it be a half inch increment um, or a quarter inch you must add that to the material size which is right here so right here it's showing 5.24 on my height and 5.24 on my height here if I wanted to add you know a separation of 0.20 I would have to go 5.44. Uh, so what that did is now added the separation in between them. So that's what interval and pitch is going to do. It's going to separate everything. Um, so we got a 0 0.20 here, and it looks to be around a half inch gutter in between each one. So it's now printed the outline. We're going to lay all our notebooks on here. And then we're going to go in Rational Link and add five different jobs. So as you can see, I've laid those out on the bed. I just laid them perfectly out with the outline that I created in Jig Print. So now I'm back over here at Rational Link, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these jobs. I'm going to composite them together. We're then going to go into Jig Print and lay them out. So in order to composite them, what you're going to do is you're going to hold Shift and select the bottom one. You're then going to come up here to the Arrangement tab. And you're going to click Arrange. So now it's arranged all of the jobs as you can see with the brackets. Next thing we'll do is we're going to come over here to the Jig icon. As you can see it's laid out every single one of my jobs centered inside those notebooks. So now all I'm ready to do is hit rip and print.
as y'all can see, five different logos centered on the notepads. Look really good. Once again, this is Trevor Bates with PDS Equipment. I hope this will help y'all. Um, feel free to go see mamakinjet.com. This is where you'll find the PDS Easy Guide. Hopefully that will help you all as well. If y'all have any questions at all regarding the software, the equipment, uh, products needing to be tested, feel free to give me a call, 615-866-7453. Thank you.